here we are, again on the road. The last point of the excursion route is Mamison Gorge, the hydroelectric power plant Zaramat, a mineral water in Tip, and the village of Lisi. <laughs> and we have just left the incredibly beautiful Tsei Gorge, that the Skaski Glacier is imposing in the realm of rocks, snow and rhododendrons. You can find the link to the Tsei video in the description. Zaramakska hydroelectric power plant is the largest power plant in North Ossetia and the third largest in the North Caucasus. And for me the Zaramakski hydroelectric power plant has also a special personal meaning. As a student of the North Caucasian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy in 1985, I was directly involved in its construction as part of a construction team. And today I am very proud of it. After all, they built such power and beauty. Yes, the times of our reckless student youth have long been forgotten. But the photos remain, the song remains, the lyrics of which I wrote right there. If you want to listen to the whole song, you can find the link in the description. And now we are driving along the Mamison Gorge. There we pass the tunnel that until recently served as the water intake tunnel of the Zaramakska hydroelectric power plant. As you can see, the road is in terrible condition and the old concrete walls can no longer hold back the groundwater. But there is also good news. Reconstruction is currently in full swing. The tunnel is being reinforced with a ring of strong rebar. The new vaulted ceiling will be made of modern, reliable materials that do not shy away from water and time. The roadway is also being widened and a modern drainage system is being installed. Soon, what you see on the screen now will be just a bad dream. While the tunnel is being repaired, you will be able to reach the Mamison Gorge by Pontin Ferry, which will be placed directly through the water reservoir. And they decided to turn off the main road to rest and refresh, and choose for it the most picturesque meadow on the bank of the Mamington River. They turn right under the windows of the majestic ruins of the Tip Sanatorium, which according to Alan, our guide, has been here in this form since Soviet times. In general, the idea of building a sanatorium spa complex was wonderful in itself, as there are many springs of healing mineral water in the area. It's a pity that it could not be implemented at that time. However, there is a hope that another much larger project will be realized. Year-round ski resort Amazon. A 
It is planned to build many expensive and not very expensive hotels, service centers, administrative and technical facilities in Mamison Gorge. The occupancy of the hotels will be ensured by aging cable cars for serving ski slopes with a total length of 28 kilometers. That is on the one hand and a large number of natural sources of healing mineral water on the other. That is, in Mamison, where will be something to do both in winter and summer. In addition, it will be possible to ski all year round, as the high ski slopes will pass directly on the glacier. То есть, когда кепка мокрая, то вроде и как и потеть не меньше. Потеешь, да. Да. А, да. As mentioned above, Mamison Gorge is not only beautiful and ideal for skiing, but also famous for its healthy and tasty mineral water. We made a stop to rest and barbecue right next to one of these sources, namely near the source of mineral water, Tib. I think you know the name Tip. Tip mineral water can be easily bought, for example, at the Sber market. Before heading back, we stroll with great interest through the picturesque ruins of an ancient Assyrian village, Lisri. Lisri is one of the oldest settlements in North Ossetia. The first buildings of the village were probably built in the 15th century. Originally, there were 14 battle towers in the village. Only seven have been handed down to us. And of course, both the towers and the houses are in the great need of restoration. All the buildings were built of rough stone and without binding mortar. A good master built the walls stone by stone, carefully selecting each stone so that the masonry was perfectly uniform and strong. The buildings are very close together, which is why Lisri is also called the Labyrinth City. On the outskirts of the village stands an almost completely destroyed Orthodox Church, the Church of the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, built in 1997. But the oldest and most mysterious building in Lisi is the sanctuary of Migdal Zoar. It's the only zikurat in the North Caucasus, a step-shaped ritual structure. Similar temples are discovered by archaeologists during excavations in ancient Mesopotamia. Some scholars attribute the appearance of this sanctuary in Mamison Gorge to about the first millennium BC. A 
another day in the mountains of Novosetia was coming to an end. And it wasn't less intense than the previous one. They admired the monument of Wasterge on a horse, wandered through the host village of Sadon, visited the Sadonsky mine, admired the rhododendrons on the ice of the Skaski glacier in Say, and ate barbecue in the Mamison Gorge. You can find links to videos dedicated to these places in the description.